All right, hey everybody, John Morris here, johnmorrisonline.com. Another Q&A Tuesday. Hey, JVCTRD, thanks for joining. I uh, got people joining on here. So I'm gonna be answering questions, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm gonna be answering questions that were submitted beforehand, Twitter, YouTube, email, so forth. Also, if you have a live question that you'd like to ask, you can go ahead and ask that and I'll try to squeeze that in as well. Now, if you've been joining me on these in the past, then you'll know that I roughly do, hey, The Real Mor Moranza, hopefully I said that right, thanks for joining, good to see you here. Um, in the past, I usually answer about five questions, I'm trimming that down a little bit, uh, because I've noticed these have been starting to get a little bit long and I wanna make sure I respect your time, so I'm gonna go with three questions today, and I'm gonna work on being a lot more concise. I do, uh, I guess, like to hear myself talk, so I'm gonna try and squeeze that stuff down a little bit here. All right, so if you're on Periscope, you know this will be up for 24 hours afterwards if you want to catch the replay. Also, right here, I'm recording for YouTube so that uh, I'll upload this permanently on YouTube afterwards. You can check that out at youtube.com uh, slash John Moore's video if you want to get the full replay permanently up there. All right, so, all right, so. Like I said, I don't want to waste too much of your time. So if you have a question live again, just feel free to ask it whenever. Uh, I'll make sure to catch it. Uh, if you jump on and just want to say hi, that's fine as well. All right, so let me go ahead and dive into these questions. Hey guys, you probably heard me talking about the importance of starting your blog to get new clients. And you may have even taken my tutorial at johnsbloggingtutorial.com. But I want to go further and not only help you get your blog started, but also help you get your first few visitors. You know, I found momentum to be such a huge factor in giving you the motivation to keep going with your blog and your web development career. And I want to give you a shot in the arm and get you off to a running start. Now, I'm blessed to have a large and engaged audience. In fact, my YouTube channel is thriving with nearly 100,000 video views per month and over 18,000 subscribers. Plus, my email list grows every single day and is now currently over 23,000 subscribers all of which translates into 40,000 plus page views of my website each and every month, which is frankly something I never would have imagined just a few years ago. It truly is amazing, and as I mentioned, it's the secret to success behind my entire business. Well, what if I promoted your website to that audience of mine? I'm confident you would pick up a few new visitors and followers of your own. And I wonder how quickly you could grow your audience. Well, that's what I want to find out. Now, to get the details on this and how I can help, you want to head on over to johnmorrisonline.com slash publicity. But you'll need to do it before you start your blog. So head on over to johnmorrisonline.com slash publicity right away, and let's get you off to a running start with your blog. All right, so the first one I got is... Uh, it says, I've been searching for freelancing projects so that I can earn something for my living, and it has really made me upset. I couldn't find any projects that I could start with, and I don't know what I should do. Could you help me out finding some web designing projects? So that's a really big question. <laughs> There's a, a lot that could go in to answering that. My guess is from the tone of this question that you know this is probably something that you're new to, you know, it's not something you've, you've necessarily been doing for a while um, and are still struggling that this is kind of your first maybe real attempt into freelancing and freelance web design. So I'm going to answer this question from that kind of perspective. So I think the biggest thing is uh, is really awareness, is taking a step back and realizing what it is that you're actually doing when you're freelancing for somebody, when you're building somebody's website. So a lot of times the analogy I like to use is you're you're a lot like a babysitter because and I don't mean that in a derogatory sense. I mean that in the sense that someone's giving you their baby. Oftentimes for clients, their website is their big idea. It's maybe their way of trying to escape a nine to five job or it's a business that they have spent their entire life building. And in essence, when they ask you to build that for them, they're handing it over to you and, uh, and giving you their baby. So you really have to understand how much trust is involved with that. You know, if you have kids that you know, when you go to give your, your kids to somebody, you don't just do that with anybody, 
right? You don't just hand your kid off to, to anybody without checking every little detail and asking every little question. And so you really have to understand that that's what you're getting into and, and take that step back in that big picture. Uh, and oftentimes, not only are they giving you their baby, they're going to be paying you hundreds or thousands of dollars to do it. So this is a, it's a really big thing for clients. So you can't get mad if clients ask a lot of questions or they're skeptical because it's a big deal to them. And so you have to make sure that you answer all of those questions. So there's a couple different things. I'm going to point you to some resources. Uh, the big thing is you have to understand the name of the game is trust. It's all about trust. Everything that I would ever advise you to do in getting freelance clients is about trust. Your portfolio is about trust. Testimonials are about trust. Your service description, it should all be about trust. You know, everything, let's see. Uh, Real Marlins, can you please do a tutorial on a download counter for when a download button is pressed? I will put that on my list and I will try to get that done. All right. Thank you um, for asking that. All right. So again, everything is is all about trust when it comes to you know uh, getting freelance clients. And so you have to understand that everything that you're going to do. So there's a number of different resources I can point you to. Again, if you go to youtubecom slash John Morris video, then you can. I have a whole playlist of a bunch of videos that I've done on freelancing. I would just start going through those. You'll see it should be on the the homepage of the channel. Uh, it just says like freelancing tips or something like that just click on that and just go through all those videos because I, I cover a ton uh, of stuff in that. Also, if you, uh, some things I would recommend if you head over to Udemy, uh, um, uh, Seth Godin has a really good course on freelancing and he talks about it from a really big picture conceptual point of view. I think it's maybe 40 or 50 bucks uh, that you can grab it over there. If you go to, if you want to help me out, you can go to johnmorrisonline.com slash resources. It should be linked on there. That's an affiliate link of mine. I'll get a few bucks if you do it over there. But regardless, that uh, course by Seth Godin is a really good course uh, for you to take as well. So those are a few of the resources that, that I would point, point you to. But at the end of the day, it's all about building trust in the mind of your client and getting them to trust you before they hire you. That's why we create content. That's everything that we do is about building trust. All right. So hopefully that gives you some, some way forward, some, some tutorials you can go jump into, and then you can kind of start, if you have more questions that are more specific related to some of the nuance, then we, we can get into that. And you can of course ask again. All right. Next question is which WordPress training or membership sites free or paid do you recommend for new web Press, WordPress developers. I'm trying to get more connected in the community and expand my WordPress skills. All right, so there's lots of things out there. I'm gonna give you three of them. The first one is pippinspluginscom slash learn, or you can just go to pippinspluginscom and click on the learn button, and that's P-I-P-P-I-N-S plugins.com. And this is the site from Pippin Williamson, who's a very well-known, established WordPress developer. He's probably most well known for his product or his plugin, Easy Digital Downloads. Uh, maybe you've heard of that if you've been in the WordPress community. He's the one that created that. And on his learn page, he actually has a bunch of tutorials and, and things that are available for learning WordPress development. So the A, that's the kind of guy that you wanna learn from. And then B, you know, the training that he has there, he has a lot of it and it's really good stuff. And it's always, you know, done the way that you should do it when you're working with WordPress. So that's the first resource that I would point you to. The second one is, uh, again, another course on Udemy. Uh, this is the course I, I always recommend for WordPress development on Udemy and that's WordPress theme development with Bootstrap by Brad Hussey. Again, you can, if you want, you can go over to my resources page johnmorrisonline.com slash resources and you'll see it linked there and the reason that i recommend this particular one again it's it's a you know first class education in wordpress theme development but uh it's also combining bootstrap with theme development and for me personally my opinion i think that's a really really good way to go in fact I've built my own plugin that I use for my sites and client sites and so forth. And it's built with bootstrap. 
So that's a really powerful combination that you can put together for theme development uh, and is going to, A, it's going to help speed up your development. B, it's going to give you, you know, the, the kind of foundation that long term uh, is going to serve you well, I think. So that's, again, WordPress theme development with Bootstrap by Brad Hussey, H-U-S-S-E-Y. The last one then is over on iThemes.com slash training. So iThemes is a theme, themes company within the WordPress community. Uh, and, you know, it's uh, they have a lot of training. They used to run a site, I believe, uh, webdesign.com. Of course, if you go there now, there's nothing there. I think maybe they moved it over to this iThemes.com slash training. But there's a lot of, there's a uh, training area there. It's a paid training. But uh, last I checked, I believe it was like 500 plus different tutorials that are available inside. So it's a really great training area. And, and again, these, these guys are well established in the WordPress community. They've built themes for a number of years. They're one of the major theme providers out there. So you know, if uh, there's anybody to learn from, they're one of the people that you want to learn from as well. As far uh, as my own stuff, <laughs> I don't. Uh, have a ton of WordPress tutorials, unfortunately. I just haven't done them. I do have a few over on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash John Moore's video um, that you could check out there on some kind of miscellaneous things, but nothing really concise and put together. So, all right. Then the last question is regarding a tutorial video that I recently did on sending emails with PHP and the mail function inside of PHP. So, it says, well, we use the mail function to send mail on your local host. You need some sort of kind of custom setup on your computer. You have to kind of build, download and build the mail server and all, all, all that stuff, which is true. But when we uh, develop on the real server, will I need this kind of setup or will it just be there and I need to go and all I need to do is just use the mail function and it'll be done. So the answer is yes. <laughs> if you when you go to an actual remote server, I, I mean, maybe there's, there's probably hosts out there that when you buy hosting, it doesn't come with a mail server. I mean, maybe, but uh, I've never, I guess I've never seen one. They all generally come with a mail server and you can use the mail function, you know, right out of the box and use, and it'll send the emails, uh, you know, how it's supposed to or whatever. So uh, you don't have to worry about that that kind of setup on a remote web server unless of course you know you're doing your own kind of build and you know you have to install all of that stuff maybe something with uh, i don't know amazon or any of the number of more kind of self-service type ones that are out there you may need to do that on those but most kind of standard shared hosting or even like a VPS or whatever, that stuff's going to come with a mail server and you can just use the mail function right out of the box. All right. So like I said, I'm going to keep it short uh, and keep it concise. Those are uh, the questions that I have for today. Again, if you have some sort of question that you'd like to ask for a future episode, of course, you can always jump on live and ask your question um, or you can catch, you can just follow me over at periscope.tv slash JP Morris and you'll be notified when I go live, or you can just tweet me the question over on Twitter, at JP Morris on Twitter. All right, so that'll do it for today. Thanks for watching. You know, I'm always harping on how important creating content to attract new clients is to you guys. It's how you get your name out there and let people get to know you. It's how you get and keep those people's attention, and it's how you use that attention to get those people to trust you enough to hire you as their developer. In fact, my blog content is the prime mover behind my entire business. Without it, I'd have no business. But I know a lot of you are just starting out or are new to the idea of blogging for your business and aren't sure how to get your blog started. Well, fear no more, because I recently created a blog tutorial where I walk you step by step through starting your blog. From picking your domain name, to setting up your hosting, to installing your blog software, and every little trick that I've learned along the way the last 11 years to make sure you're set up to be successful with it. Now, it's a completely free, no email sign-up or strings attached blog tutorial that you can find over at johnsbloggingtutorial.com. So go check it out and let's get you blogging and bringing in new clients for your web design business. 
head on over to johnsbloggingtutorial.com.